What's up everybody? We're back and we're playing Conan Exiles today. It's in early access on Steam, so it's pretty new and a lot of people are still getting things figured out. So I thought I'd contribute to that today and make a starter's guide to speed up that learning curve and get you started playing the game. Okay, so when you first spawn into the game, first thing you want to do is start collecting resources. Specifically, branches, plant fiber, and rocks. Uh, so, branches can just be found along the beaches. Rocks can be found along these big rock deposits. The big ones can't be collected, but the small ones can be picked up with your hand. And plant fiber, you can just collect these bushes here. Once you've collected some resources, you can then make some basic tools like a hatchet and a pickaxe to speed up the rate at which you collect your, these resources. And then that'll allow you to get started on making your camp. But don't forget, while you're doing all this, you'll need to be eating food and drinking water. To drink water, you can go up to a water source, hit E, until the water bar is full. For food, you don't have a whole lot of options at first, but here are a few. While collecting plant fiber, you can also collect some insects, which are consumable and are better than nothing, really. Some more great things to sustain yourself are eggs. These you can just find, and they'll spawn every now and then. And fat grubs. These will just spawn on the ground in a few places. Alright, so when you're setting up your camp, the first thing I recommend building is a bedroll. And that can be crafted with some twine, branches, and plant fiber. That will allow you to set your spawn point by just pressing E on it. The next thing I recommend is a campfire. That will allow you to have some light during the night time and cook some meat. Speaking of meat though, rabbits are a great food resource to have. You can kill them with one hit and collect the meat from that. Another great non-hostile meat resource are the baby shellbacks, but make sure you don't upset the big king ones. Once you have your meat, you want to head to your campfire, plop it in these slots here, and add some wood that can be collected by hitting a tree with a hatchet. Then just click this on button. The meat will be transferred to this crafting queue over here. This crafting queue is specific to the campfire. It will not show up in the normal one on your inventory. The meat will then appear back into these slots over here as a cooked meat. In this instance, it's shredded roast. You can turn the campfire off again, and it will no longer use the wood. As you're playing, you may notice that you're gaining XP and levels. As you level up, you can gain points to increase your attributes and learn new crafting recipes. The more you upgrade your attributes, the more they start costing. Personally, I recommend you stick with strength and vitality at first. Vitality will increase your health, and strength will increase the amount of damage you do, and this will allow you to start killing those monsters a lot sooner. Crafting recipes often have prerequisites such as a level requirement and previous learned knowledge in order to unlock it. You can also reset all of your spent points if you've decided you haven't spent them very wisely. Once you've gotten some armor and weapons and skills up, you might want to face some enemies. I find it best to just keep smacking it. Dodging doesn't really do much. If you die, luckily you have a spawn point and you can go back and collect your items once the coast is clear. But be sure to reset your spawn once you come back. The rest is just expansion, like building better tools and getting better weapons and building structures and making a base, like uh, this chest to hold more stuff in, or this armory to build, get better armor. You know, it's what you make of it, and now you have a basic knowledge to do that. So. That'll be it for today, guys. Please leave a like if you liked this. And if you would, please subscribe to see more videos like this. I'll see you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.